Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Mugcat here again. Today we will be uh, fishing at St. John's, which is a new lake added uh, during Phase 6. Uh, I have not fished here yet, so this will be a uh, learning experience for me as well. You can see it is looking quite beautiful here. Uh, really well done. And, uh, the lake itself uh, I'll put a link to it here, but uh, it is based on real lake. Uh, you can compare if you like, but from what I've seen, it looks pretty accurate, uh, even at the first stage that they offered here. Not having been here before, I'm just going to choose this spot here. It looks as good as any to me. And like always, I'm going to try for the old quest for the three rod Monty. Uh, hopefully we can get it done here at St. John's. Um, you know, hopefully I can fill out my tackle box a little more for future adventures here. And, oh, wonderful cast to start. Let's try that again here. Ah, oh, much better. Now, since this is my first time fishing this lake, I not really sure where where the gravel spots and weed spots and stuff are so I'm gonna have to test it out a little bit here let's see get our bait all set up oh, we got some jumping in front here Alright, looks like we're on silt here. Let's see if there's any gravel. If not, I'll change it up. Now with this uh, game here, I know a lot of you are probably looking forward to Phase 7. I am myself. Uh, can't wait. It looks like we'll also be getting another new lake in Phase 7. I, I hope it's Phase 7 anyway. Uh, be out on Canary Islands. and uh, If you can, go check out. I know their Twitter feed has some shots of it. It looks gorgeous. Uh, can't wait to try that one out as well. We'll get going here and get these, get all these poles out in the water. see if I can get this thing where I want it. And yeah, that's good enough for now. And there are an awful lot of fish jumping out there, so hopefully I'll have some luck today. Get the right bait on. Ring. I'm guessing everything's pretty much silt in every direction here from where we're at, so... Yeah, let's skip another lure across. That'll wake all them carp up there. And now let's see what we get. It really does look gorgeous at uh, this time of day here. You got a nice little mist over the lake. And Set out. Oh, we got one already here. Let's set the hook. Let's up that drag. There we go. Alright. Don't want to go too heavy on it. I have no idea how big these are out here. I know part of this is there's a couple of target fish, which are, you know, much bigger carp. Than than the standard standard fish, which I, standard ones only go up to about 25 pounds in here. I'm not sure how big the target ones get, but I believe they can get quite heavy. In a way, I hope I don't run into any. I don't have the tackle for it at the moment, so we're just going to try and get three three at the same time. Let's see what we got. Well, that looks pretty nice. 
my fisher likes to show them off there. Oh, we got another one. Oh boy, we can get this early. That would be great. Let's get this get this rod up here. And that's far out. Looks good. Hopefully that third rod will bite there while we're reeling it in, because we're far out, so. Uh, this seems very small. Uh, not much of a fight even at 100% drag, so it's probably brim, but... And I won't mess around with it to try and, try and hope something bites the one on the right hand side, but... Yeah, that'd be cheating. <laughs> I reeled in like I normally would here. Let's bring her on in. Try and get this netting down here. Something I'm still working on here. Get that under. Oh, did we? Am I about to lose it? There we go. All right. Yeah, it's a. It's a carp, but it's got to be pretty small, weight-wise. That's all right. Any carp's good carp. Let's try and get these poles set back up. Well, let her rip there. Hear an airplane go flying overhead here. Lots of airplanes in the game. <laughs> I can hear him jumping all around right in front of us. Get this middle one set back out. Just the drag back down. Oh, oh. we got another one right up the middle already. Pretty good introduction to this lake for the first time here. And that's coming in real fast as well. Bring a little closer. There we go. Ah, nice brim. having the best of casting days here, but it happens. I get my morning co morning coffee in and <laughs> hopefully do a little better here. <coughs> yeah. We'll just sit and wait and hopefully we can get some more come in. A little concerned we haven't got anything on that right side here yet. Always seems I can get them on on two sides, but never that third. Yeah, they're jumping over there, right by the line. Maybe I got them out too far. Yeah, right there. They must not like the bait I got. Wildlife I hear in the background. It really is a gorgeous lake to look at. They did did a really good job here. With the lights reflecting off there through the haze. Let's uh, bring this one in here. Sitting and waiting here. And 
know that's not always the most exciting thing. Uh, a real fishing show, they <laughs> they cut away and only show the good bits. I'm going to show you all of it. Uh, good, bad, ugly. Uh, when I mess up, hey, it's all part of fishing. That's what makes the simulation good. You know, it looks like we got some moths or flies or something here swarming around my head. Maybe my guy forgot to take a shower. Let's get this uh, spot right out there. Let's see if we can get something going here on the right side. I try not to use this very often. Um, not exactly 100% sure how it works. I have an idea, but uh, let's see there. That's about where our bait is. Uh, lots of lots of fish welling up under the water. thing really makes a lot of noise. Clunk into the water again. Uh, apologize if you see the <laughs> camera angle slowly move up or down. Uh, my joystick's wearing out here. I'm going to have to get me a new one soon. But uh, that's what's going on there. It's, wow, look at the size of that one there. Well... But yes, it makes things interesting. Let's go take a little walk here, see. Yeah, that's as far as we can go this way here. Let's take a quick look around. I can't go too far or the lake owner gets grumpy with us and says you gotta pack up your stuff. So we'll just hang out here by the lake, by our, our peg. Things have been going much faster for me here than some of the videos when I heard that they were doing this lake. I did check out some videos of people uh, fishing on it for real. And, uh, you know, they, in the tent, it take a couple days to get the big ones. Uh, that, that's not a problem in real life, but you know, it is a simulation game, but it's also a game. And, you know, sitting in front of the computer screen for two days waiting for one fish, and that might be pushing it, but you know. It's not a standing simulator, it's a fishing simulator, so, you know. Things are a little bit faster, it's greatly appreciated. You know, it keeps it more interesting. Uh, let's just uh, bring this thing in here. Another airplane. We must be over. We must be underneath a major route. I'll have to check the map to see where where this lies. I know we're over in the UK. Oh, we got one in the middle. On, let's get it. Let's hurry up. All right. Coming in slowly. Let's crank it on up, see what we can get here. Well, let's get the net out. Let's see, it's taking a lot of practice. Oh, I got something. Yeah, that is a nice looking carp right there. Like I said, I'm really impressed with the models in this game. They look beautiful. Oh, I got a new level. All right. It all seems to be doing very well for me here. Let's get this out. And eh, well, do better cast, but that seems to be where the fish are. Oh, whew. Get me some of those ones there. Uh, let's finish getting this rod in here and, and reset it. Oh, we got another one again. Alright, better hurry.
hurry up and get this in. Decent amount of uh, tension on the line. For the lower drag, that's, that's good. Alright. It should wear itself out here shortly, and we can up that drag and, and bring her on in. Fisherman's working hard here. Let's uh, I like to really try and lower this drag for the netting so I don't get too much tension here at the bottom and lose the fish at the netting. It's oh. there we go. Ah, look at that one. That looks great. I think we saw that one jumping earlier. It's definitely a, a fun lake, and I don't know if you noticed before the map, there are an awful lot of pegs that you can choose to fish from. Uh, they seem very close together, which is good. Like I said, I just chose this spot at random. Um, might not be the best spot in the lake, and that's one thing you really want to try and do when fishing. You know, the training lake I know inside and out, where everything is. And one here. It's good to take some time and try and uh, really learn the lake, learn where all the spots are, you know, the gravel, the weeds, the silt. Just make it much easier. I'm going to try and get that one out in the middle there where I've been catching fish. And this one over here is doing nothing, but I see tons of fish. I must have the wrong bait. Unfortunately, right now I only brought one, one kind, really. Could always go with the corn or bread, but uh, I like to do a little more than that. So let's bring this thing on in here a little bit. And right there's. Uh, they don't want to take it. If you notice, uh, I like to try and troll along. Uh, setting, but. 32, 34 on the drag, and you can get about a yard a drag, a little under that, and uh, until it settle and then go again. Uh, I've had some success with that previously, uh, not in recent updates, so I don't know if that really works. It's good technique. It works sometimes for bottom, other bottom feeders, so I figured I'd give it a go here. Now I got all these sitting out here in the middle. Seems to be where I've been getting the most hits, so hopefully we can we can get some more going here. Now, <clears throat> now if anybody has any ideas, uh, some other things you want to see me try out, I'll be happy to do them in future episodes. Uh, just be sure to leave a comment. Let me know. You know, let me know what you think of the show. Other things I'd be happy to work on. <laughs> I'm not a real big talker normally, so this is uh, this is new to me as well. Um, like I said, I hope you all enjoy watching them. I'd like to provide them a little more frequently. I'll try and get that done. Uh, uh, see, I hear a real close, but I don't hear the alarm go off. Uh, that has been going on. I don't know if that's accurate. Maybe it might be a little bit of a bug. I'm not sure. Uh, personally, I'd like to give them a little more tension on the line when I set them down, but uh, the way it works right now, you can't really do that. Uh, more tension just means it's going to yank your your line over, and it's hard to get tight lines. As you can see, my lines aren't very tight. You know, setting them down. Preferably, I like to set them down and have them tight and hear that 
that alarm go off, one quick beep to know it's tight and uh, any action on it, you'll know right away. This is a little close, let's see if we can tighten her up. You know, even though it doesn't matter um, right now, I really try not to cross my lines. I, you know, try to make it as realistic as possible in the way that I do it. Uh, if I wanted to, I guess I could throw all three lines in the same spot and cross each other. And dear Lord, all the fish are right under me. <laughs> I don't think even that ten, eight yards were too far out. I think the fish are probably favoring the gravel. It looks like there's some gravel there in the water right underneath us. Uh, not sure where the patches are in here yet. Like I said, uh, new lake. So as I go, get a little better knowing where everything is. Oh. Yeah, it seems like there's gravel right on the edge of the lake. Uh, that way out there. Uh, when you cast, uh, one thing, I, and I didn't know about this for quite some time, I use it every time I cast now, and that's just to put the finger on the line. Uh, I don't know what button that is on the, the keyboard, so you have to forgive me that. Now if you have a Xbox controller you use, the right trigger does it. Really, it, uh, it does cut down the uh, where the bait lands, but it also leaves a nice smooth splash. Oh, we got one out there. Uh, Alright. Let's see what we got. That's a long way out. Let's see here. Uh, it seems like it's a, another smaller one, but we like any fish here. Get her on in. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I think after this one we'll bring it in. If we don't have any more bites, I think we'll we'll call the day here after this and end on a good note. Alright, what do we got? That's a very small carp there. Still very good looking though. Get her done. I will just get this out here. Looks like the uh, quest for the three rod Monty will have to wait for another day. Right. Set her lines out and we'll wait. But, uh, I'd like to thank everybody again for watching. Um, you know, if you enjoy enjoy these videos please give a thumbs up and subscribe uh, like I said I'm gonna try and get these out a little faster had some real life concerns that's kept me kept me from doing them more frequently but uh, hopefully that all changes and, uh, I hope to see you again real soon right. have a good everybody have a good day thank you